The following tutorial is for Kian's PLCs KV8000 and KV7500 using the KV Studio software. This tutorial will cover how to set up the PLC. The first step that has to be done is to configure the AZ driver's IP address. We will be using the free Mexi O2 software in order to do this. Click on New, scroll down, and click on Communication and IF. On the Communication IF tab, scroll down to the Configuration Control tab and select Parameter. For this example, we will set the IP address to 192.168.0.1. Once the IP address has been set, you can now begin to write to the driver. Once writing is complete, a reboot of the driver may be required. Please turn off the driver and wait 5 seconds to turn back on. Now you may open the KV Studio software. Create a project name. In this example, we will name the project Test. Select the appropriate PLC model. In this example, we will select KV7500. A unit setting menu will appear. Click No for this setup. We will now begin setting up the EDS files. Under Unit Configuration, select the appropriate unit. A menu will appear to set up the configurations. Click Manual. On the EDS file tab, click REG. Now we will load the appropriate EDS file. In this example, the AZD-KEP is shown. Drag the unit to the unit editor on the left. Click OK. Under the Convert tab, select Setting Check. Click OK. Now we will begin creating the device comment. Device comments are functions that are assigned to the device. Under the View tab, select Device Comment Edit Window. Select the appropriate unit. In this example, we will select AZD-KEP. Change select device to be DM slash W or word device. Right click and paste. This will post the appropriate tags or comments in the device numbers below. Next, we will set up the configuration of the CPU system settings. The power off holding setting will allow the user to maintain the device's status and values after the power is turned off. Under power off holding, we will change the setting to W and change the first range to clear. Click OK. We can now write the data into the PLC. Under the monitor tab, click transfer to PLC. The transfer will be done in the program mode. Select all and hit execute. We can now write the data into the PLC. Click yes to the following menus. The driver is now set up. This completes this section. Thank you for watching and please check out our other tutorials.